Welcome friends to this week's episode of It's a Doll's Life. And we are doing another Ashton Drake doll. And this one is going to be available on the Ashton Drake website. All right, let's bring her on. Now this is Bella Rose. And I'm gonna read off of Ashton Drake's website the description they have on her. So she is so truly real lifelike baby by master artist, Linda Murray. She breathes, coos, and has a heartbeat, hand rooted hair, and she's posable and weighted. And she is 19 inches long. So here you guys go. This is Bella Rose. So Bella Rose, they do say she's posable and um, not quite sure what they, I, she does have armature in her, but, um, they, I can't really pose her. <laughs> um, she does not sit for me. She wants to go back. And that's probably due to the fact that yes, as they said, she does have a heartbeat and she does breathe and she makes cooing sounds. So she requires some batteries to do those. So she comes in this adorable um, sleeper. I think it's just so precious. It's like peach colored flowers. We got ruffles going down, these little ribbons. It's just so sweet. Um, she doesn't come with a bow, but one looks adorable on her. When I had her out on display, um, I always kept a headband on her. And she just has, she's actually the first Ashton Drake doll that I purchased. Um, I just thought she was so sweet and I just loved her. And this particular doll, I don't know what it is about her. She smells so good. Like I cannot get, <laughs> like I've, I've of course bought other Ashton Drake dolls, but none of them have the smell that she has. I don't know why her smell is different, but it is in this particular one. Um, she of course is a sleeping baby. I think it kind of makes her look very realistic, but except for the fact that she is just beautiful. She's too beautiful. <laughs> her skin is very even. Um, the sculpting they did on this, this is one of my favorite sculpts for sure, is just very detailed. The creases in her, in her eyelids, the eyelashes, her hair, sorry, it's a little messy, but it's kind of, it's not curly, it's a little wavy, but there's pretty good coverage for, you know, she does have that newborn look to her. Um, we're going to go ahead and I will take off her little sleeper so you guys can see how her body is. I did not customize her, she, as she... I said she has a mechanism in her that makes her breathe and stuff. So let me take off this. So she's going to come with this, her, I wouldn't call it a belly plate, but she has a belly and chest. So let's take a look here. So this is just done beautifully. I love the little belly button on her. And we're going to go ahead and turn on her mechanism now that she's kind of naked so you can see. So to turn it on, you click the button in her shoulder. And you can hear the noises she makes. It's kind of gasping sounds, so it. I don't know if I, if I really like the coo cooing and the, the breathing that she does. But the I'll put her flat so you guys can see her stomach will rise and fall as she breathes, and I don't think we're gonna pick up. But I can feel like a the 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 like um, a heartbeat on her, so that's kind of fun addition to have. Um, and she'll go again with her noises after a little bit.
Okay, and I will turn her off. Oh, wait. So another fun thing about her is you can kind of stop her where you want her belly to be. If you if you want her to have a big blow to belly, stop her right there. If you want it, you know, not quite so much, stop her right there, wherever you want her belly to be. I kind of like a little bit of a chubby belly, so I let it be like halfway extended. Um, so she does not have a magnet in her head. Um, I haven't opened her up. I believe that it would be safe to take off her head if you wanted to glue a magnet in there, but I just haven't done it. I don't want to mess with her at all, basically, because I don't know how the mechanism is. I believe it's just located in the body, though. Um, so I will show you where the batteries go. So she's got a little pack back here. So I've had her dressed and everything and I can't I can't feel the pack unless I'm looking for it it's very well padded hurt the little flap but so you take you take this out and it's connected with fabric around it and there is you have to take out a screw and there is an on off switch that you can use so that um you know if you don't want her accidentally going on if you're sleeping with her or something I guess <laughs> and you don't want to all of a sudden hear you know like this gasping breath that she has going you can switch it off so it doesn't go off if the kids sleeping because that might startle you I think <laughs> so yeah. yeah so let's put that back in if you're gonna store her I would suggest removing the batteries which I was like, oh, wait a minute. I put her in storage and I left the batteries in. Shame on me. So, again, I am going to say that with this baby, it sh maybe I'm partial or something because it was one of my first, but I actually really enjoy this baby. Um, there's something about her face that... It just, it looks so peaceful and beautiful that I just love this one. So if this is one that you guys would like to get, again, you can buy purchase this one right there on Ashton Drake website. I believe you can get her on Amazon. Um, they have different versions of her as well. This particular doll, like the base Bella Rose doll, it's $159.99 on Ashton Drake's website. Um, they also have a custom painted one. It's like a handcrafted one because these babies, of course, are manufacturer babies. Um, that one's $2,000 though. <laughs> and they have a silicone version of her, which I actually really want to get. And that one I think is um, like $250, so $100 more than the vinyl version that this one is. So um, it just depends on what you want. Obviously, she's kind of a popular mold. Um, and she is like really made me start collecting Linda Murray because I just really like this one. <laughs> so, all right. So this is one of my favorites, I would say. That, but um, you'll find I have very few ones from the Ashton Drake website that you can still get. I usually collect the retireds. So I would recommend her thumbs up on this one. Now me, Kelsey, I have a lot of the ones that you can have. Mm -hmm. There are yeah. almost yeah. A lot retired. of the ones that you use that we have from Kelsey, you'll, you'll be able to find those on Ashton Drake website. So, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, again, please hit subscribe. We're going to do videos every week. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you get notifications for it. Hit the bell icon. Hit like and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. If you guys have any qu other questions on Bella Rose um, or if you guys would like to see how to go about, um, maybe we do want to install a magnet for a pacifier in her. If you guys are interested in that, want to see a video about how to do some customizations, just leave a comment. And if 
you know, enough people want to see it, I will go ahead and, and take this baby's head off and show you guys how to put a magnet in. And then that way she can take a magnetic pacifier. So, all right. Well, I will see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you later. Bye.